Once we have the filter and envelope set to the parameters that we like, again, we're using the oral process. We're listening, we're making decisions based on what we hear. I am then going to play with the delay and reverb and see what happens. So let's get this one going. I might just open the envelope a little bit and the filter a little bit. There we go. Okay, let's bring in some delay. And we can hear when we stop the note, we can hear that delay, that sort of echoing or the notes bouncing off a wall around us. And the more delay we add, the more that's going to happen, the more repeats we're going to instruct the notes to do. Uh, so let's add some reverb and see what happens when we do that. In fact, I'll take the delay out and then I'll add in reverb by itself. There we go, no bouncing, no echoing, here comes reverb. We can hear the reverb is creating space in the mix, right? It feels like we're in a really large room all of a sudden, almost a, like a cave or a big space, a big hall. And the more reverb we add, the more space it feels like we have in the music. If we drop out the reverb, it's going to feel like you're back in a small room where the sound's just close and it's not, you know, extending those notes into the big space. It's just nice and tight. So that's the delay and reverb. And I would suggest playing with these and really finding a sound you like. I'll do a little demo of that now, just experimenting with those four controls. Thank you.